Well, a happy Friday. We are finally starting to track a few showers across southern West Virginia out there for the first day of November. Seeing a few showers starting to enter our western sections out there for your 6 o'clock hour. Some light to moderate rainfall across the area. Seeing some decent showers passing through Summersville down to Oak Hill. Also a few more showers passing through our southern coal fields passing through Welch. Getting ready to enter Bluefield in the next half hour. So, but overall, as you can see, very light in nature and really not too much moisture with this. So, overall, within the next couple of hours, should turn mostly dry out there across southern West Virginia. So, planning out the rest of your day today, temperatures starting off in those mid to upper 50s, tracking those occasional showers in the forecast, especially early out there this morning. Then, as we get closer towards the middle of this morning, turning mostly dry out there, but as you can see, temperatures really not warming up too much throughout the day, and those winds out of the west northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, keeping those temperatures relatively cooler out there. We're talking low 60s out there for the afternoon high. Expecting a beautiful evening out there for football Friday. Temperatures staying a little cooler, but overall, no rain or snow is in the forecast as we go over the next 6 to 10 days across the region once we get past those rain showers out there early this morning. So looking at our weather headlines out there for the next several days, we're tracking those occasional showers in the forecast out there, especially early on this morning, just in time for your Friday morning commute. But as we get closer towards the middle of the day, we are turning mostly dry across the region. So that allows for a beautiful weekend across the area. Temperatures staying cooler out there, reaching those 60s for daytime highs. Then we are warming up once again as we get closer towards the early and middle portions of next week. Right now, temperatures sitting in those upper 50s, to low 60s, and these will basically be our daytime highs as you go throughout the afternoon today. 56 in Marlinton, 62 in Lewisburg, 59 right now in Union. Same deal across our western section. 60 in Summersville, 60 right now in Oak Hill, 64 the warmer spot in Pineville, 59 currently as you work your way across Welch. Checking out our temperatures out there for the next several days, showing those upper 50s for this time of the year. Seeing those temperatures in those low 60s out there for the afternoon high today. Mid 60s likely Saturday into Sunday for this first weekend of November, then warming up even more Monday into Tuesday. Lower 70s likely Monday, mid 70s likely as we go Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. So checking out our football forecast out there for this evening, expecting a beautiful day out there for those football games taking place. Temperatures a little bit cooler, but we are staying dry. Temperatures in those mid to upper 50s likely for kickoff. Then as we get closer towards halftime, temperatures dropping pretty quickly in those low 50s as we get closer towards halftime and as we're heading home from the football games this evening. Looking at those upcoming rain chances out there for the next seven days, we are expecting a good weekend across the area, mostly sunny conditions Saturday into Sunday. Those dry conditions will continue Monday into Tuesday before seeing some signs of some more rain potentially coming back to the region once again, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly even into Friday of next week. So looking at our seven day forecast out there, tracking an occasional shower too, especially out there first thing this morning, Temperatures in those low to mid 60s out there for afternoon highs, turning mostly cloudy but dry as you get closer towards your afternoon. Mostly sunny Saturday into Sunday. Temperatures in those mid to upper 60s for afternoon highs. A few more clouds likely in the forecast Monday into Tuesday. Feeling more spring like out there towards the early portions of next week. Then tracking a few more rain showers likely coming back to southern West Virginia as we go into Wednesday with temperatures in those 70s for daytime highs. There's nighttime low temperatures dropping into those low to mid 50s across the region.